Over a week ago, tense moments at a pro-Palestinian rally in Harrisburg. An SUV pulling up to the state capitol and a person inside flashing a gun at the crowd. Today, organizers trying yet again to host a peaceful protest. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Michael Gorsegner, activist returning to the Capitol steps this afternoon for an emergency rally. CBS 21's Maxine Rose speaking with one woman at that rally today who says she was the one staring down the barrel of that gun. A windy day at the Capitol today, but not a trace of fear in the air. People recommitting to the cause despite rising tensions. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Rallying for peace, dozens of Palestinian supporters embarking on the Pennsylvania Capitol today. The outcome far different from the same mission just two weeks ago. It was very, very scary because I didn't know what's in his head. I didn't know he was going to do that. The last peaceful rally turning to chaos, a moment Yusra Hamad will never forget. It's not going to stop me at all, even if he killed me. I'm not going to stop. Yusra, like many others who were there at the time, returning to that very same spot today for an emergency rally. A lot of Palestinians are being martyred and killed every day, and they are still strong in their resolve for freedom. So I think the least we can do is uh, stand up here as safe as we can be. I mean, this is as safe as it gets. An increasing number of threats to Muslim, Arab and Jewish communities, top of mind for many Americans. For others, it's fuel for their fire. Whatever happens will happen no matter what. And uh, it's a testament. It's a test from God. But we, we don't fear anybody. The wave of heightened concern, nothing compared to the atrocities happening abroad. If Palestinians haven't given up hope, then we definitely will not. This is my responsibility for my country and my people, and I have all of my family over there. This is the least I can do for them. We spoke with the communications director with the Capitol Police, who told us today that they have reorganized security detail here. Now this event ending without incident. For CBS 21 News, I'm Maxine Rose.